Good evening, my dear students. I'm glad to see you today. That's very nice that you have found time and you have found opportunity to attend this lesson today. I really appreciate that. Thank you very much, my dear students. First, let me introduce myself. My name is Sergi. I'm 31 years old and I am your teacher today. Remember that if you have any questions during the class, you may ask in the chat box, okay? Or you can just ask in Vietnamese. The assistant will be able to help you and to actually to guide you, to guide you, okay? So I think that this is actually very important, okay? For you to know that today we have an assistant in the class who can help you, who can translate for you, okay? And who can actually ev do everything for you, okay? So I think that this is really very important for you to ask uh, the assistant for advice. You can ask me for advice too, okay? So, and I think that I can help you as well without any problems, okay? Just type in the chat box if you experience any any problems during the class, okay? Just don't be afraid and don't be shy to uh, write your questions in the chat box. Actually, it is very important for you to be able to understand what we are talking about. Actually, today we have a very important lesson because we're going to practice some vocabulary, all right? So, today we have a vocabulary lesson. It means that we are going to learn some vocabulary on the topic, which is actually very important. Before we start our class, my dear students, I think that this is really very important, okay, for you to be in a place that is not noisy, not noisy, with good internet connection, so that you can hear me clearly, and you can do everything on time, okay, so that actually you are um, on time with the class, okay, and uh, actually... Then I advise you to, when I ask to repeat after me, try to repeat aloud so that you can talk and you can hear yourself too because this is more effective. And one more advice I usually give my students is to take short notes during the class. I'm sure this advice is really very helpful because, you know, usually when students finish the lesson in some hours or maybe Till tomorrow morning, students forget everything, forget what they have learned. So, and when you take some short notes during the class, it will help you remember uh, and um, like use what you have learned. You just take a look at the short notes you take and you just remember what you have learned. You remember all the lesson. So I advise you to take a pen or a pencil, to take a notebook and put down, write down some short notes during the class. It will really help you. It is very effective, believe me. <laughs> so, my dear students, today we have a vocabulary lesson, as I told you before. And we have a topic, five different types of flight tickets. So when you want to fly somewhere... Uh, you need to buy a flight ticket. And you should know that there are five types of them. And by the end of this lesson, you will be able to use this vocabulary in full sentences. So, uh, before we start practicing vocabulary, before we start learning some new words and making up some sentences with them, I want you to play a little game with me, just to warm up. Okay, just to, to be in an English environment. Imagine yourself booking an airline ticket. Which type of ticket do you prefer? The expensive ticket with excellent service and food and a lot of other things. Or cheaper ticket, but the service, the service is really very awful, very bad. Nobody gives you food and so on. So... Which type of ticket would you choose? The expensive one or cheaper ticket? So, my dear students, please type in the chat box uh, what ideas you have, uh, what you think uh, you ticket you will be able to buy. And I think that it would be very interesting for everybody to discuss it 
in the chat box. Just give your ideas as for this topic. Yeah, for example, let me. I will give you my, my answer. So, actually, you know, I would like to buy... It depends, it depends where I fly. If it is only just uh, one hour to fly or two hours to fly, I think that I would buy a cheaper ticket, a cheaper ticket, yeah, because that's not a long time, actually, yeah, and just I can sit for two hours without eating and without service. Uh, in this case, I would prefer uh, a cheaper ticket. But if I fly, for example, 12 hours or 14 hours, of course, I would like to feel comfortable, yeah? I think that I would choose an expensive ticket just to have great food, to sleep well, and so on. What about you, my students? Which types of ticket would you prefer when you need to fly somewhere? Or what type of ticket do you normally buy? Okay. Yeah, Tang, I want to buy the cheap ticket. Yes, Tang, I agree with you. I agree with you. I think that... It can really save a lot of money from you, but of course, if you don't fly far away. For example, if you fly to China or if you fly to Thailand, of course, cheaper ticket would be very nice. Vuon says the cheaper ticket. Yeah, okay, okay. Thank you, Vuon. Thank you, Tang, for your ideas. Um, assistant says cheap ticket, but from trusted airlines. Yeah, actually, this is very important as well because... If you don't know the airlines, it could be really bad, yeah? So I think the cheap ticket would be nice, but if you buy it from top trusted airlines, okay. I can agree with this point. Thank you very much. The assistant. I'm sorry for calling you the assistant. I don't know your name. Okay. So, thank you very much, my dear students. Thank you, Tang. Thank you, Vuon. And thank you, our assistant today, actually, for giving your idea. So everybody would like to buy a cheaper ticket. Yeah, because... Actually, uh, it can save you some money, yeah, and it can really, like, uh, you, you'd better spend this money when you are in Thailand, yeah, <laughs> or when you are in China or other countries, but better to spend some money on a hotel, yeah. Okay, thank you very much. Now, let's take a look at, at our vocabulary today, my students. You can see five types of tickets on the slide. First... Let's practice pronunciation, okay? Let's practice pronunciation of these um, words. First, I will read the words. Then, I would actually ask you to repeat these words after me. But now, just listen. Just listen, okay? Number one, one-way or one-way ticket, yeah? Number two, round trip. Number three, first class ticket. Number four, second class ticket. Number five, refundable. Now, my students, I will read and you please repeat each word after me, okay? One way. Round trip. First class. Second class, refundable. Okay, so thank you, my students. Now, I will read a little quicker, quicker. You try to uh, repeat after me, okay? Just, but don't, um, don't hurry very much. Just try to pronounce it clearly, but still try to pronounce it quickly, okay? What well, number one, one way. Number two, round trip. Number three, first class. Second class, refundable. Okay, so thank you, my students. As for the pronunciation of these words, I think these words are quite easy to pronounce. Quite easy, yeah. Uh, just pay attention to the number five, refundable. <clears throat> it can cause some problems pronouncing, but just try to pronounce it several times you will understand it. Yeah, please repeat after me. Refundable. Once again, refundable. 
Okay, thank you. As for the spelling of these words, like how to write these words correctly, I think this is quite easy, quite easy. I think even, even a word refundable is not difficult, is not difficult, yeah? So just remember how to write these words correctly, remember how to spell, spell these words correctly, and I think that actually you will be able to remember. Now, let's pay attention to these words' definitions, like what these words mean. So, ticket number one. Ticket number one. One-way ticket. It, when you buy one-way ticket, it means that you travel uh, only in one direction. For example, if you want to go to Thailand, yeah, and you don't know when you come back, you just buy one-way ticket. Only one ticket from Vietnam to Thailand. And that's all. One-way ticket. Yeah, so this is what we call it. One-way ticket. Yeah, ticket only in one direction. If you want to, one, to buy one-way ticket and you want to come back, it is called round-trip ticket. It's when you travel to the place, then you go back again. For example, you travel to Thailand, then you, you know which, when you're going to come back. So you buy two tickets. You buy two tickets. One to Thailand and one back to Vietnam. Yeah? So this is what we call round-trip ticket. Basically, there are two tickets in round-trip. Uh, to a place and back. So, but still people call it, for example, I would like to buy a round-trip ticket to Thailand. It means two tickets, there and back. Yeah? Okay, remember these words. Number three, first class ticket. I think that you understand it. You can see the picture. You can see the picture. Yeah, actually, great place on the plane. Yeah, oh, great service, great food. You have a TV. You can sleep over there. It is very comfortable to sleep over there. So, this is first class ticket. It is connected with the best and most expensive way of traveling on a train, plane, or ship. Yeah, there are first-class tickets on, on trains, on planes, and even on ships, okay? So remember that, this is first-class tickets. They are, they are usually very expensive, but still, it is very comfortable, especially when you travel a long distance, like 12 hours or more, yeah? Number four is second-class ticket. This is the type of ticket that people usually buy. Yeah, it is connected with the less expensive way of traveling on a train, ship, or plane. Yeah, so you can see the picture. This, uh, this is how second class tickets look like. Yeah, seats, second class seats look like. A usual way of traveling. Yeah, if it is a short distance, I think that second class ticket can be very, not very expensive. And actually, you can feel comfortable there as well. And number five type of ticket which is called refundable. So, a refundable ticket. For example, if something you have paid for is refundable, you can get money back if you are not satisfied with it or you are unable to use it. For example, when you, when you buy a plane ticket but you are not sure if you can go, for, for example, next year, yeah, and you can buy a refundable ticket. It, it, it is going to be a little bit more expensive, but if you um, know that you cannot go, you can get money back for the ticket. Yeah, for example, uh, today is the 3rd of March, and I buy a ticket uh, for December, like in seven months. Yeah, it is very cheap. But I don't know if I will, if I go, yeah? You can buy this ticket, uh, which is be a little more expensive if you buy a refundable ticket. Then you can get your money back, okay? So, now my students, uh, I'll take a look at all these definitions on the, on the slide. I think that these tickets are really quite, quite easy to understand, quite easy to remember. Just remember to uh, use them correctly, okay? So just remember all these definitions. Now, we are going to practice a little bit, to practice what we have learned and to practice how you understood, understood 
okay? All these uh, words and this vocabulary. So, this is a game. You are a travel agent who works at an airline ticket booth. So, you sell tickets. Your teacher, so it is me, I wish to buy uh, some type of ticket, but I don't know the exact word for that. I will explain, okay? And you guess which type of ticket I want to buy and comment in the chat box, okay? So, there are two types of tickets. Let me explain the first one. Yeah, hello. I would like to purchase a flight ticket that allows me to travel to my destination and then back. So, my students, how do you call this ticket? I want to travel to my destination and then back. Okay, Tao, round trip. Okay, Tang, round class. No, <laughs> Tang, there is no round class ticket. Round trip. Okay, <laughs> yes, Tang. Vaughn, round trip. Okay, okay, so I, I can see that you understand. Yes, Tang, round trip, okay? <laughs> Not first class, second class, round trip. Okay, okay. Yeah, number two, number two. Hello, since I'm not so sure about going on a trip, do you have any type of ticket that if I cancel my booking, I could then get my money back? So, what type of ticket is it? Yeah, so I'm waiting for your answers in the chat box. Okay, Tao, Tao should be refundable. F, F, refundable. Okay, thank you, uh, Tang. Thank you, Noon. Thank you, Tao, Vuon, everybody. Thank you very much, my students. A lot of answers from you. Uh, this is correct. This is correct. Thank you. And take a look at the answers. Of course. Number one is round trip ticket. When you want to go, then you come back. Number two, of course, is refundable. Refundable, yeah? When you want to get your money back if you cancel the booking. Yeah, this is great, my students. So, you understand it. This is very important. Okay. Thank you very much. Now, before we're going to, uh, to continue, okay, practicing, I want you to pay attention to one more thing. We're going to learn how to use adjectives. Adjectives, yeah? For example, let's take the adjective one way. One way, it is an adjective. Adjective, okay? Usually it is used before a noun, and but after an article. Remember that first there goes an article, like a. Then we have an adjective, like one way. Then we have a noun like ticket, like a one-way ticket, yeah? So this is the formula. First we have the article or, for example, we can have a word very, yeah? For example, a very expensive ticket, yeah? So, take a look. Modifier is. Modifier is a word, phrase, or it can be even a clause, which functions as an ob adjective or an adverb to describe or give information about the word. Modifiers can also be articles. Yeah, yeah, so just just uh, article or some other words. For example, a one-way ticket or the first-class seat or one round-trip flight. Okay, so remember that. First we have an article or some word that describes or gives more information. Okay, then we have an adjective and then we have a noun. I think that you know it perfectly well, and uh, thank you very much, my dear students, for this. Uh, for this, I think that this is quite easy for you to understand. Now, of course, of course, let's practice, which is very important. Game number one. You have two sentences. Your task is to rearrange the words and complete the sentences with the given words, so that these sentences make sense. I will give you some hint. The first sentence starts with I. The second sentence starts with she. Just that it is easier for you and you don't spend much time on uh, guessing which word is the first. So, 
Yeah, I'm waiting for your answers, my students. Is it, uh, what is it, like number one or number two? So that this sentence makes sense, especially number two, number one. Okay. Okay, noon. Uh, noon, I'm sorry, noon. I would like to buy one first class ticket. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, Tang. Oh, th thank you, noon. Vuon, I would like to buy one one class ticket. Vuon, that is not correct. Be, be attentive, be attentive. Tang, I would like to buy one first class ticket. My dear students, remember that first class, the, it is, there are not two words, one word, one word with a hyphen. First class. Okay, who now would like to buy one first class ticket? I uh, would like to buy. Okay, thank you, Tao, Tang, Hung, Tang, Vuan, and Noon. Yeah, that's correct. Uh, Vuan, yeah, yes, Tao, first class. That's correct now. That's correct now. Okay. Okay, Vuan, uh, you have a mistake in your sentence. You cannot say one class ticket. Not one class ticket. Okay, what about sentence number two, my students? Yes, Vuon, thank you, thank you. So, what about sentence number two? Please type in the chat box. Don't forget to write correctly. Uh, Lian, you cannot say one way, just like this should be one way, with a hyphen, with a hyphen. Yeah. Not, yeah, yeah, not, not there are, yes, there should be, one word, one word, not two words, one word. This is an adjective, adjective, okay? Okay, so I can see some correct answers in this chess box now. Thank you, Lian. Thank you, Tan, Noon, Hung. Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, okay. One year flight, flight, flight. Okay, so my dear students, okay, take a look at the answers. Take a look at the answers. Number one is very easy for you. That's correct. I would like to buy one first class ticket. Okay? First class ticket. Remember to put to write first class as one word. One word, not two words. This is an adjective. Should be first class. Okay? One word. Number 2, she's going on a one way flight. Yes, my dear students, this is correct, but remember to write one way as one word with a hyphen. Not two words, okay? So it should be like an adjective, an adjective. Okay, so I understand that you know, you know how to write these things correctly. Okay, so thank you very much. It is quite easy for you, yes. <laughs> thank you. Remember to write first class, one way, second class, round trip as one word with a hyphen. Not two words, okay? Okay, thank you. That was perfect. Yeah. Thank you, Tang. Thank you, Tang, too. Number two. Uh, read carefully. Choose the correct answer, A, B, or C, and uh, so that the sentence makes sense. Okay. For example, number one. I bought a ticket because it's cheaper and affordable. Okay. Okay. So, what ticket is usually cheaper? Number two. You need to purchase tickets in order to get your money back Upon, upon cancellation. Okay, you know, you perfectly know all that. If you need to cancel, what ticket would you choose? Yeah, okay. So, my students, what about sentence number one? What variant is it? Sentence number two. Vuon, B. Uh, Vuon, what is B? Is it number one or number two? Uh, okay, B, C. I can see, I can see. Okay, Lian, B, C. Uh, Hoa, B, C. Vuon, B, C. Hun A C Tang B C. Okay, so all the answers are correct. Hun. Um, number one is A. You say first class ticket. No, no, noon. Uh, no, hun, hun. Uh, you you should read it. I bought a ticket which is cheaper. First class tickets are not cheap. They are quite expensive. So if you want to buy a cheaper ticket, it is first class ticket. First class ticket. Okay, hun. Remember that, please. Tang, you think it is C? Uh, yeah, one-way ticket is cheaper, but actually we don't know. We don't know if it is cheaper or not cheaper, okay, Tang? So remember that usually the cheapest ticket is second class. So it should be variant B, okay? 
So, thank you, my students. You can see answers on the slide. I will read the sentences and you repeat after me, okay? I bought a second class ticket because it's cheaper and affordable. Number two, you need to purchase refundable tickets in order to get your money back upon cancellation. Okay, thank you for your pitching, my students. This is great. Thank you. Okay, so I think that this lesson was really very good. Thank you for your uh, numerous answers. That's great. Thank you for your activity. Today we have learned five different types of plane tickets. One-way ticket, a round-trip ticket, a first-class ticket, a second-class ticket, a refundable ticket. Remember how to write correctly. Then we have learned how to use adjectives, but I think that you know. First there is a modifier, then we have an adjective, then we have a noun. And your home task. Keep a notebook of new words you have learned. Make sentences with them and practice speaking at home. Okay, so thank you very much, my dear students. Goodbye, have a good evening, and see you next time. Bye-bye, have a good week. See you, everybody. Goodbye.